In honor of Memorial Day on Monday, we're joined this morning by the composer and someone featured in the upcoming documentary, Apache Blues Welcome Home. Gentlemen, good morning. Thanks for being here. Well, it's our pleasure. Yeah, so what can you tell us about this upcoming documentary? Well, it's, uh, we made this documentary to help other vets mm -hmm. uh, cope with things that come up after you've been overseas or, or in battle. Or, but, uh, you know, it's, it's trying to get vets to talk to one another, to their families. Their families should know what they done when they was overseas, and you know if a generation slips by and and that isn't passed on, it's it's you know dead forever. But uh, I think uh, doing this film, trying to help other vets, I I think it's uh, really helped me. Yeah, we'll talk to you more about that in just a second. Um, before we get to that, there's a special event coming up, a screening, right? What can you tell us about that? It is May 25th. Mm -hmm. It's in the big city of Ontario, population 500. All right. But we're going to put 4,000 people in there. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, that and is amazing. And don't ask me how I came up with that number, but that's the number we came up with. Okay. Uh, we're going to start out 3 o'clock in the afternoon with the, the K Sterling Band, and then my band will come on at 6, and uh, at around 7 o'clock we're going to have the presentation of the colors. We have a young man by the name of Hunter Everson who's going to do the uh, national anthem. He's also uh, sung for the Green Bay Packers, so I figure if he's good enough there, he's good enough for us. Yeah. We've got two chaplains, one coming from the high ground of, of uh, Nielsville, and one coming from the National um, Vietnam Memorial. Following that, uh, we're gonna have the introduction of the blues. There's nine of them coming back. There's 13 total, but uh, nine of them are coming back to, to be with Dwayne and, and, and the boys. Uh, we were all out in Albuquerque together, and then we had the presentation of the movie out in uh, the Grauman Chinese Theater for, uh, in Hollywood. Wow. And that was in uh, September. Okay, very cool. And that's how we got to uh, the nomination for the Academy Award, wow. which we did not win. Okay, no. but to be nominated, that is quite the feat, so I you should so. be proud of that, yeah. So Dwayne, you said working on this film, getting to know uh, Dan and other veterans has helped you in your journey. What can you tell us about, you know, just that connection and how that has helped you? Well, Dan, he's kind of unique, I think. <laughs> he was, was not in the service, but I've, I've never seen anyone else uh, do as much for veterans mm -hmm. as he has. And, uh, just just kind of it makes you feel good yeah yeah I, and I'm sure for other vets too to know that they're not alone as you mentioned that talking is such an important step so yep. I guess what do you hope you know the veterans who attend and maybe people who aren't veterans what do you hope they take away from the film that it's okay to talk mm -hmm. it, it's good for them and uh, they should you know bring the old skeletons out and and just you'll feel so much better you just and uh, you know we can show a, show these veterans uh, shortcuts here and there how to cope with and you know way the government handles things it, there's there's a lot of things that they probably shouldn't have done during the vietnam crisis i I just uh, hope that they learn from that process what not to do. All right. Well, thank you both for being here. Uh, and that, so the screening is coming up Saturday, right? Can people, do they need to go to a website to get more information? The, movie, the movie is going to be shown uh, live that day at, mm -hmm. at 9 o'clock as soon as it gets dark. Okay. And we've got the directors of the movie coming. It, it's going to be a wonderful event. Yeah, Wonderful. sounds like it. All right, well, thank you both for being here to share it with us. Thanks for having me. Thank us. you. No problem. Stay with us. We're back right after this.